hello, hello everyone. I'm Pastor Harris and I'm, I'm bringing you the final teaching on this incredible partnership, okay, that we have with the Lord. And it's a partnership that is made in heaven. And throughout the Bible, you see men and women of God that are truly into a partnership with the Lord. Uh, Gideon is just one of these messages. You all, you know about Moses and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and, and Daniel and, and uh, the Hebrew boy. So many stories where uh, a human being gets up close and personal with Jesus. And that's what this is all about. I call it a partnership. And our final scripture that we're going to read for uh, Brother Gideon is in Judges, the seventh chapter, in verse 9. And it says, And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto Gideon, Boy, that talking to your partner, the Lord says to Gideon, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thy hand. The Lord telling Gideon, Okay, arise, we're ready. Let's, let's go ahead and kick this thing off. You got 300 uh, soldiers that uh, we're going to use to rout the enemy. And uh, you, you've already got the victory. It's already been preordained. I already know what I'm going to do. And now it's just a matter of uh, you and I pulling this thing off together. And the Lord did something that I view is so important. He told Gideon that when you shout out loud and I'm going to bring all the confusion in, and of course I shared with you in the last message how the enemy, they turned on each other and they basically killed, they killed each other with their own swords. Uh, he said, you, you got to make sure that this is also in the sword of Gideon, okay? Now, we all know that the Lord could have said, not the sword of the Lord, that's it. You do this in my name only. But Jesus emphasized partnership. He said, all the credit just doesn't come to me, the name of the Lord. Also, I want them to know, and I want them to know sitting out there in the year 2020, that your name, your might, your power, your abilities, your skill, your gifting, your physical efforts, your thinking, your personal relationship with me, all of this is part of winning. It's all part of the victory. And so he says to Gideon, you tell the 300 to also yell, also scream out, the not only the hand of the Lord, but also the sword of Gideon as well. The sword of the Lord, the sword of Gideon, the partnership, Jesus and a human being working together to bring forth a tremendous victory in one's life. So we wrap this up with a word of encouragement. Be, be, be really good. Be really comfortable with all that God has given you. And you go forth in the name of the Lord and in the power of his might, but also in your name and in your gifting. And I encourage you to walk in confidence with who you are in Christ Jesus. Walk in confidence in this close personal partnership that you have with him. Talk to him. Pull up a chair. Fireside chats. And uh, get it done. Hey, you're going to get through the, this, the rest of COVID. You're going to get through whatever other challenges that might be going on. And you have the victory. So this is not a time to have your head down. This is a time to keep your head to the sky and keep speaking positive. You've got the victory. You've got success. Your partner has your back. And regardless of what somebody might say about you, behind your back, they're trying to crucify you, know that you have a powerful partnership with Jesus and as I tell my congregation all the time, everything is going to be all right. 
Okay, wraps up our teaching on a partnership made in heaven. I hope all these messages have encouraged you and they are a blessing to your life. This is Pastor Harris now saying, for the Lord, he is good and his mercy is